We will be learning about place value through millions. Throughout this video, you will be asked to work with a partner. So to make sure that you get the interactive experience, find a partner. In this video, you will learn to understand place value through millions, you will find the value of digits and numbers through millions, and you will practice identifying numbers through millions. Let's go over some important words. Digit. A digit is part of a number. For instance, in this number, you can see the digit 5 at the beginning. Value. Based on the location of a digit in the number, it has a different value. We see 5 again at the beginning and the end of the number. Both of these 5s have a different value because of their place value. Let's practice digits. Which number has 4 digits? Think. Now respond. That's correct. A. 2315 has four digits. Which number has the most digits? Think. Now respond. That's correct. Answer choice B. 99,999 has the most digits. Which number has the digit five? Think. Now respond. That's right, answer choice D has the digit five. 825 has five in the ones place. Which number has the digit one? Think. Now respond. That's right, answer choice C has the digit one. 61 has a one in the ones place. Which number has repeating digits? Think. Now respond. That's right. B has repeating digits. 99,999 has repeating nines. Now let's go into detail about understanding place value. We'll start with a simple pattern. Once you understand that, all you have to do is repeat the same pattern. We'll repeat the pattern together. Start at the right side. Ones, tens, hundreds. Let's do it again. Ones, tens, hundreds. One more time with me. Ones, tens, hundreds. Do you see the pattern? Pause the video to explain to a partner how you see the pattern repeating on this place value chart. Look over to the far right. We see the ones place in the beginning. Every time we move to the left, the value increases 10 times. I'll start the pattern to see if you can continue it. 1 times 10 equals 10, and we can see 10 in the tens place. 10 times 10 equals 100, and we can see 100 squares in the hundreds place. 100 times 10 equals 1,000, and we can see 1,000 little tiny blocks all stacked up in the thousands place. Pause the video to continue this pattern. Let's look at it another way and find the same pattern. Start over at the right side in the ones place with me again. If we take one and 10 groups of that one, go over to the tens place and we have 10. Take 10, 10 groups of 10, move to the left over to the hundreds place and we have 100. If we take 10 groups of 100, we get 1,000. Please pause the video and continue the pattern. How many digits does this number have? 
three. That's right. Let's look at the six. It's in the tens place. So I know I have six tens. The value of the six is, think, now respond, 60. That's right. You can say six tens or 60. How many digits does this number have? That's right, it's got four. Let's look at the two. It's in the hundreds place, so I know I have two hundreds. The value of the two is, think, now respond. That's right, it's two hundred. I can say two hundreds or 200. How many digits does this number have? That's right, six digits. Let's look at the nine. It's in the thousands place, so I know I have nine thousands. The value of the nine is, think, now respond. That's right, nine thousands. I can say nine thousands or nine thousand. Let's look at a different digit in the same number. Let's look at the five. It's in the ten thousands place. So I know I have five ten thousands. The value of the five is fifty thousands or five ten thousands. We'll practice with another six digit number. Let's look at the two. It's in the ten thousands place, so I know I have two ten thousands. The value of the two is, think, now respond. That's right, twenty thousand, or two ten thousands. How many digits does this number have? That's right, it has eight digits. Let's look at the nine. It's in the millions place. So I know I have nine millions. The value of the nine is, think, now respond. That's right, the value is nine million, or we could say nine millions. Let's look at another digit in the same number. Let's look at the three. It's in the 10 millions place. So I know I have three 10 millions. The value of the three is 30 million or three 10 millions. Pause to tell your partner what you would do if you had $30 million. Now we'll learn how to use our knowledge to read large numbers. Look at the digits in each group. I see 165 and 210. Since 165 is in the thousands, we will say thousand after we say 165. Then we will say 210. Let's try saying the whole number. 165,210. Look at the digits in each group. What do you see? What is in the thousands? Remember, you will say thousand after you say it. Then you will say the rest of the number. Try it on your own. Did you say 609,513? Good job. Look at the digits in each group. I see 5, 892, and 501. Since 5 is in the millions, we will say million after we say 5. Since 892 is in the thousands, we will say thousand after we say 892. 
then we will say 501. Let's try it. 5,892,501. Look at the digits in each group. I see 65, 891, and 513. Since 65 is in the millions, we will say million after we say 65. Since 891 is in the thousands, we'll say thousand after we say 891. Then we will say 513. Let's try it. 65,891,513. Look at the digits in each group. What do you see? What's in the millions? Say the number. Then say million. What's in the thousands? Say the number, then say thousand. Now say the rest of the number. Go ahead and try it. Did you say 8,974,423? Great work! Pop quiz! Question number one. What is the value of the eight in the number below? Did you say eight tens? That's correct. Question number two. How many digits are in the number below? Did you say five? That's right. Question number three. Explain to your partner how you would say the number below. Remember to look at each section of the number. Pop quiz question number four. Think about the number below. Now, say it together with your class. Ready? Go! Did you all say 362,601,582? Great work! Today you learned to understand place value through millions, to find the value of digits in numbers through millions, and to identify numbers through millions. Tell your partner what you learned today. Which one are you the best at now? Which one do you still need some help with? Understanding place value through millions? Finding the value of digits in numbers through millions? Identifying numbers through millions? Thanks for watching Whimsical Teacher Tube. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and teachers, check the description for linked products. Created using Powtoon.